All right, what's up, guys? So you guys don't know how to duplicate, so I'm gonna show you. So that's why you came to this video, right? Well, yeah, probably. So I'm gonna show you how to duplicate in the game Dying Light. So here's how you duplicate. So the way you duplicate is you gotta go up to a, a trade person, like a barter, 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 or, or trader or whatever you want to call them and you want to go to sell now you want to have a valuable a decent amount you can have cigarettes coffee cosmetics pouches jewelry boxes you want to have a um like prefer preferable amount like a good enough amount that you can like fill up your whole inventory yeah, so yeah, like 20, 25, like 15. You don't have to fill up your like whole inventory. You can have like 10 maybe. So yeah, I have jewelry boxes, I have pouches, I have cosmetics, coffee, cigarettes. I have all of them at 60. Um, I And we are gonna show you how to duplicate. So, I was just watching this guy, his name was like Pro Gamer or something, I was watching his video, and he was like, people that make these duplicating videos or these glitches videos, glitch videos aren't like clear enough, and they try not to be clear so they can get more views on their videos so people have to keep watching it over and over again, and I totally agree with that because I've seen a few glitching videos that they weren't clear enough so I had to keep watching the video over again. And I was like, dude, this is really true because I've done this before, I've had this happen to me. So yeah, I'm not like that. I've actually not done very many glitches videos but I hope I'm not like that. So yeah, let's just get right into this. So, first to start off, you wanna be at your jewelry boxes or any valuable that you have. Then, what you wanna do is you wanna press X and square and your touchpad if you're on PS4, but I've heard if you're on Xbox, you wanna press like X and A at the same time and the little rectangle, like the square button on your controller, it's where the touchpad would be on the um, PS4 controller. So if you're on the PS4, you have to touch the touchpad, but if you're on PS, uh, if you're on Xbox, then you gotta touch the um, square little button where the touchpad would be. So I'm on PS4, so I'm gonna type, put, push X and square at the same time. And like, you wanna get like 0.5 seconds away, you wanna wait like 0.5 seconds to press the um, touchpad. So what you wanna do is press, press X and square at the same time and get like 0.5 seconds. And then actually don't give it a break at all. There we go. When you do have it, you should have this thing right here where you can where you have it says sell jewelry box and you should be able to with your touchpad or whatever you need, or whatever you need to use, like your D-pad or whatever, you should be able to move it with whatever, like your joystick, your D-pad, your touchpad. You should be able to move it with whatever. So before you try and duplicate anything, you wanna put the quantity up all the way. Like, I mean all the way, guys. Or to, no, put it to like 20. Put it to like 20, cause, tw cause all the way is gonna be too much and you won't be able to buy all of those back. But you'll still have all the thing, all of them that you need. So what I'm gonna duplicate is, I'm gonna duplicate this katana. So I'm gonna press triangle, or if you're on Xbox One, you wanna press Y. Then you wanna press sell all, you wanna go to buy back, you wanna buy all the map back and you want to have a decent amount of money to do this because if you don't have enough money you won't be able to all buy all these back because then you you'll lose them and you won't be able to buy them so yeah you want to have 
a decent amount of money. <laughs> so yeah, if you go to sell or whatever, then you should, if you go to inventory, you should have all of those uh, swords or axes or guns or pistols or whatever you duplicated. And you should have them in your inventory. So now you can just go to your stash, put your swords in the stash or whatever you duplicated. And then you should have like a full stash of just whatever you duplicated. And if you keep doing this, you can have like a humongous, humongous stash of just swords and whatever you duplicated. In here, I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna show you another one, guys. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this blade of order. My friend gave me it. I don't know how to duplicate money. He just gave it to me. And then you want to put all of that back in your inventory and back and back and back. And then if you keep doing this with a whole bunch of different weapons, then you should have a whole bunch of stuff to give to your friends or to keep for yourself and for battles and stuff. And then you'll just be stocked up with all of this, all that stuff. And then you'll be happy and You'll be able to show off your stuff, maybe do drop parties. Um, and yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm just gonna show that this is not fake. I'm just show the sword. I'm gonna show the sword in action. Not photoshopped whatsoever. You now if we go up to the zombie, hit him. Kill the zombie, kill him. Yep. This is real, guys, so if you really enjoyed, please leave a little, oh god, I know how you just saw me. If you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. I really try hard to do these daily videos. Um, and yeah, guys, um, that was a duplication glitch on Dying Light. So, yeah, if you want to try this out, you can. I mean, it's a really fun. You need to have some money for it. You need to have some jewelry boxes or some valuables, whatever. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, and peace. Love you.